Hi, it's Paris from Epic Review Guys, and it may look like I collect old TV antennas, but actually no, we don't have cable TV, so we use these antennas every day. We have the inexpensive old rabbit ears, we have a fairly expensive amplified antenna. Neither of them give us very good reception, so we've decided to try out the As Seen on TV Clear TV antenna, which says we should be able to get rid of these old antennas. They'll give us all the channels we could want. Let's try it out. Epic Review I guess it shows my age that I think this is hilarious, that they're advertising get free TV, like this is a new sort of discovery. Though I suppose for people in their 20s who their family always had cable, they always had cable since they've moved out, the idea that there is free TV to get might be news. So for those who might be in that group, let me briefly explain that broadcast TV has always been free. That's where the networks put out their shows, NBC, ABC, CBS. And all you need to get that on a new TV, a newer TV, is an antenna. And that's what this is. Any antenna will let you go and get these magical free TV programs. We pay about $20 for this clear TV. I'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out online. You can probably get rabbit ears for less. And there are certainly more expensive antennas, some almost up to $100 indoor antennas. This is what comes in the box, the clear TV antenna itself. It is very thin. On the back of it, it has suction cups, so you can stick it to a window. That's probably going to get you the best signal strength, but the suction cups do come out. And they include screws if you'd really like to put it into your wall. If you, if you can find a good location and want to commit to it, you can put the screws through the holes here where the suction cups come in. There is no stand for it, so if you aren't going to stick it on something, it's going to be lying flat, which may not give you the best performance. They also include an instruction book that tells you the best way to find where to put it in your house so you can get the most channels. What I'm going to do is try this on both of the TVs we have, one in the living room, one in my bedroom, which these, an these antennas are usually with. I'll see how many channels the TV was able to capture with these antennas and then put this in and have it run that find channel feature and see how many more or fewer it finds with this. Here are the channels we get under DTV Digital TV. There are 18 channels all together. Not all of them are, are very clear. Some are pretty staticky, but this is what it's picked up. The TV is in channel search mode and I have put the antenna up on the wall right here, which I, I taped it because the suction cups don't stick to the paint and I didn't want to put screws in the wall. So I put it right about where the rabbit ears were, and then we'll see how many channels it finds. And here are the channels that the clear TV antenna found. Still 18 here under DTV, though they're different, and I'll explain that in a minute. What I've lost here um, are the uh, channel 62, which is uh, Univision, and I think a couple of the other Spanish language channels which transmit from towers in a different location. So my wife will not be pleased if I leave this here and we don't get those channels anymore. I'm going to try one more thing with this antenna on this TV. I'm going to put it right in the window and then run the scan again, see if it picks up more just when it has to get the signal through glass. This is with the clear TV antenna in the window. Still 18 channels here, but they're different again. I didn't get back the Spanish language channels and they're a different set of channels sort of in the middle there that have shown up. It's a wash with the rabbit ears on this TV with the additional disappointment that I've lost some of the channels that I need to have. Here on our old analog box TV in the living room, we got a total of 20 channels listed. Now it's not through the TV. This TV is so old that we use this digital converter box with it. I also don't have the Spanish language channels out here. I've just hooked up the new Clear TV antenna. Let me run a channel scan and see. With the Clear TV antenna hooked up to the converter box and my old analog TV here, the first time I ran it with the antenna on the inside of the wall, I only got 15 channels, but now it's hooked up to the window and I got 25. That's the most ever, so that is some improvement. So to my surprise, I will be replacing this 40 something dollar amplified antenna for our living room TV with the $20 as seen on TV clear TV antenna. This actually brought in several channels we've never been able to get before. So however it works, it did do a good job there. However, in the bedroom, and I'm starting to think now that maybe the Spanish language channels are on VHF, maybe compared to UHF, and the VHF is where these really long straight lines of the antenna come into play. Maybe that's why this can pick up the Spanish language channels and this one doesn't. But in any case, to preserve marital bliss and my wife being able to see her telenovelas, we're going to have to keep this TV antenna in the bedroom. I'm going to go reattach the clear TV antenna to our living room television. The kids will be so glad when they get home to see their PBS shows aren't all broken up and frozen now. Also putting this, it's very easy to put this in an inconspicuous corner of the living room 
rather than to have this monstrosity sitting on top of the TV. Shopping is easy when you know what to buy. At Epic Review, guys, a gift of a try. What does the fox buy? Nobody knows. But before he goes shopping, he watches our videos.